All right, Selakia, Selakia, huh? Shalom, everybody, Shalom. As we already know, Shalom, we're going to address this quick. Uh, bear with me. Selakia. Selakia. Let's see. So like ya. Okay. So like ya. Shalom everyone. Shalom, shalom. Shalom King. Shalom. Shalom King, all praises, all praises, all praises be unto the most high. Can you hear me, King? Yeah, that's that. All praises, all praises. Shalom, shalom uh, Israel, shalom to our people, shalom to the so-called blacks. Latino and native in a scattered throughout the fucking on this earth based on your father with the Israelite, right? With the Israelite, right? We've been scattered throughout the fucking on this earth because of what our disobedience, right? Rebellion, right? We will not take a hit on to the most side, man. We just want to do whatever we want to do, right? There we go again. So I'm right here with my brother, Ben Judah, right? Ben Yah, Judah Ben Yah. So I'm going to you know, let him introduce himself a little bit, you know, to, to the brother and the sister that will be watching us live, you know. Yo, King, you got the, the platform, King. Go ahead. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. So, yeah, go ahead. Come. Right. Right, that's correct. <laughs> that that's correct. Right, right, right. Definitely. Right, that's correct. That's correct. Right. That's right, that's right, that's right.
Right. That's right. That's right. Right, right. That's right. That's right. All right. And now, uh, our brother going to the most side. The most side moved the spirit up on you, and you bring that out. So. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'll go straight in the book of Leviticus, right? Let's go in the book of Leviticus straight up because you brought it out. Because a lot of time, our people, they get mad, you know. As nation, you know, we get mad. We don't want to be rebuked. You see what I'm saying? We don't want to be rebuked. So that's uh, the main thing, right? So I'm going to go in the book of Leviticus as you, you pointed out Ezekiel 3. And you read the verse 16. So I'm going to go in the book of Leviticus chapter 19. And I'm going to go to verse 17. Right? Let's read it. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So the most I talking to both men and women. Right? Like you, like you put it straight up to the point from the beginning. So... We got to rebuke our people. We got to let them know. It doesn't come nicely. Why? It is good. It is sweet. That's what we need. But because our people, the way we were raised, right, in this captivity, by this heat and all this we've been through, our people being raised up to the point that they deal with the emotion. Our people are all about emotion, man. Feelings and emotion, right? Feelings and emotion. That's the main thing or the main issue of the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian, man. That's why we can't put it together. We deal too much with feelings and emotion. That's the main thing. So we right here, like the brother pointed out there, we right here to show love to our people. We out here to correct you, to let you know that's the most side. That's what we're about, man. Right? We don't want you to think that we're here to teach head. No, none of those things. Right? And guess what? Understand this, man. This word of the most side is a double-edged sword. So you might hear it, it might catch your spirit because you're living like some evil way. You're following the way of this kingdom or you follow the way of Esau, Edom. You're going to get caught. You got to keep that in mind. You'll be a cold car. And when you get caught, I mean, when you get caught in the cold, listen, man, it's not fun. All right? So we just want to put out there. So as you can see, the title of this lesson or this video, straight up, we're going to know. You already know. Right now, a lot of people, they're excited. They're buying flowers, right? They're buying flowers. Some of them, they buy all these things where they're trying to seduce their mother, blah, blah, blah. They think, yeah, mom, I love you. You know, mom, I got this, blah, blah. Some, I guarantee you, some of our people in the Hollywood, those that got big money, guess what they're doing right now? Some of them, they're buying car for their mother. And tomorrow, they'll be broken. Tomorrow, they'll be broke. They don't have enough money to put food on the table for the children, right? Some of them, they're going to go take a loan to buy a house for their mother. And the, and the next thing you realize... The bank will come after them like six months later from now. The bank will come after them and, 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 and take away the whole the house, right? So now we're gonna dive into this quick. We're gonna dive into it, and I'm gonna bring this article right here quick, right? We're gonna go to your your mainstream uh, media things, like whatever you use the platform the most people use. Let's go to uh, we're gonna go to Britannica, right? I go on Google. So we're gonna ask Google, what is the origin of Mother's Day? Did Anywhere in the Bible, did Christ, Amashiach, did the Mosai, Moses, did, did he command that we got to celebrate Mother's Day? Where did he come from? What is the origin of Mother's Day? Is Mother's Day part of the heritage of the Hebrew Israelite? Is Mother's Day part of our legacy? Did Amashiach command that we celebrate Mother's Day? Where is he coming from? Who deceived you? And you're going to come to find out that who deceived you is your father and your mother. Guess what? I won't jump on Esau yet. Why? Because the most I commanded right here. Let's go in the book of Deuteronomy. I want to bring it out quick. Right? I, I want to go in the book of Deuteronomy. That's what the most I said, man. Right? The most I, he literally said it. Right? The most, what we, so who deceived you first is your father and your mother. 
the same mother you're getting your flower to today, she deceived you. Your same mother, your same father. How did I deceive you? I'm going to show it to you. Right? Let's see. Right? Because it's, it's, it's straight to the point, man. You got to keep in mind. You got to keep in mind. The most I am playing no game. Right? This is a book of Deuteronomy. Right? Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Right? Deuteronomy 32. And I'm going to read from uh, uh, verses 7. Right? Let's read it. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. It reads, Remember the days of old. You see? So that's what the most I say. Remember the days of old. What day is he talking about? How do we remember the day of the old if we were not born at that time? You go in the book of Genesis, right? You go in the book of what? Revelation. You go in the book of what? Isaiah, Jeremiah, and the list goes on and on and on, man. Right? You go into the Bible. You go into, since our forefather fell, they were deceived by their father. So they failed to teach us the way we're supposed to go is the job of our parents to teach us the law of the commandment. But they failed. Because our forefather failed. Before even the 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 the, the, uh, the rest of uh, Moses. Because Moses did not die. He's resting. He was a righteous brother. Right? So let's we say, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Huh? Because a lot of people that say, well, it doesn't matter. That's in the past. No. That's garbage, man. Esau remember everything that happened to him in the past. He remember he doesn't forgive people. Esau does not forgive. He has not forgive the people in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan. He has not yet. He still remember everything. He still remember 9-11. But he out here, he's simple for our people. Simple one, right? Rebellious of our people, so-called black satirian. Yeah, well, it's okay. You know, we just, no, man. It's not, the Mosai is not dealing with that. He said, remember the days of old. That means we got to get back into the history. You got to know that the so-called black people, they rule Europe for a thousand years. And you got to dive into it, man. You can't just wake up and you keep some commandment. No, man. Find out about your history, man. There's so many books out there this day before Esau take them out of, of the, the, the Amazon or whatever he, he usually sells them out. Before, man. Find out about your history. Where is the origin of the so-called black people? Where did we come from? Did we come from West Africa? What is our culture? What are we supposed to eat, man? Are we supposed to eat hot dog, a hamburger? Those are the things you got to you got to go back to the history. That's what the Most High say. He said, "Consider the years of many generations. As thy father." Fortunately, unfortunately, our forefather, our father, they fell. They failed to teach us the the like what the Most High said. They fell. They fell. He said, "As thy father." And you should thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. There we go, man. That's why you can't just follow to follow, right? Brother and sister, ye so called blacks are here. You can't just follow to follow. You got a reason, man. You are not a baby this day, man. You are not like one years old, baby, or two years, three years old, or five years old. No, man. You're like 16 years old. You got common sense, man. You got to use it, man. You got to use it. It's very simple. Right? The most I say, you got to go back to the history. Go back to your past, man. Find out the history of your forefather, man. Our forefather history did not start with slavery. Like, it's so making you believe it. He said, well, you were just slave on a ship. No, man. We ruled Europe for a thousand years, man. Our forefather ruled Jerusalem, man, until they were overtaken, man, because of sin and iniquity, man. So you got to cut it off, man. Your king, go ahead, king. Right.
כאן. That's right. 